What's up, guys? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. We're back in modern day, not playing as the Assassin, but Desmond Miles. We got Rebecca and Sean! The best man, Sean, and Rebecca. Now, I was supposed to go down that way. Oh, I can open this up. Nope. Desmond Miles. What's what's in here? I I need to know what's inside there. You know. Wow, the outside is it just me. Kind of doesn't it? Doesn't it look like uh, Italy? When it's on Italy in like eleven forty eight or eleven seventy six. That doesn't look like modern day. Is it just me? Because that does not look like modern day. How odd. What about I go train with Lucy? She doesn't believe we have it what it takes. She doesn't believe we took Enzo's abilities yet. But little does she know. I don't think she knows this guy, but it's, this is a game. This is a game, bro. I don't think she knows that. So, Denzel... A Desmond, his name's Desmond. Desmond not might may not remember all of uh, the abilities, but me, the gamer, I remember all the abilities. Okay, Desmond, let's kick her ass. So what's the plan? <laughs> We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. When can we bone? Obster goes out there looking for us they're better funded and better equipped so it's only a matter of time before they find this place we need to be ready for them when they do i want you to activate the warehouse's defense system i'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors oh come on not even a hint open your eyes desmond bitch bitch okay whoa whoa Uh, Lucy, I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. <clears throat> pass? That's not gonna pass, but nah. Huh. Yeah, this is really hard, I must say. Not to one. Activate. A activate. Okay, fine. Why is everything in blue? So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. Oh, is everything blue that I can parkour on? Yeah, I think it is. All right, you got to tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know, with his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. The vault? A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through, after everything I put him through, it's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault? I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. 
I want to go to the Middle East. I want to go to Africa. Wait, are there any Assassin's Creed games that take place in Africa? <gasps> I would love to ride an elephant. Be I would love to kill some lions. Oh my god, I would love that. Is that all of them? Is there any more? All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. Your eyes are messed up, lady. I'm glad you're here. Well, I will wreck you. Shit's still blue in here? Why? Why is the game allowing me to do this, though? <laughs> but, okay, am I onto a secret or something? But, why am I allowed to do this? Cool. I did a thing. <gasps> you can climb! Did I die? Why am I up here? Let's see if I die. I'm a superhuman! Guys, I'm a super I'm a superhuman. I'm unkillable. That fall should have killed me. It would have certainly killed uh, Ezio. You know, the master assassin. Certainly would have killed him. Whoa. Am I going to be found passed out? I can't move, guys. Hell no, but I can't move. Four horses or three? Three. What the hell? Am what I out? Out here? Altair? Altair? It's Akri. Altair. What the hell? Not even in the animus. Whoa. Uh, I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Fuck this. Is this the original game? This has to be. This looks like the original game. Can I climb? I'm pretty sure in the original game, because I look like uh, Altair from the first one. Yeah, this is for sure the first game. Why the hell am I Altair though? Yeah, that's my one blade. <sighs> well, I'm about to get jumped on. I guess you're my one target to kill. Hmm. That must be his target. 
Oh yeah, Tai, yeah, let's go. Mmm, so good to be back in the original game. I see you, you ain't going nowhere. I'm, I'm out Tai, boy. We think you're going. I got the skill and strategy of out Tai. I know how he plays. No, wait, no, this isn't, this isn't. This is, I don't think this is the first game. I mean, the knights. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Come up here, I dare you. Mm, mm. Can't even punch her. Okay, that sounded wrong. Of course I can't punch her. Where are you going? Oh, fuck. Wait, is this the original game? I cannot tell. I don't know. I can't tell if this is the original game or not. Up. I can't tell if this is the original or not. I can't tell if this is Altair's world or um, the new guy's world. What's the new guy called? I completely forgot. How do I get up though? I can't tell this is this might be Altair's world. Or like his his time of his timeline. Or his decade. Jump scale, come on, give it to me. <sighs> this might be Altair's world. Or it could be uh, the new guy's world. It could be uh, Etzo's world. I can't tell if this is Ezo's or Altair's world. I'm guessing this is Altair's world. It only makes sense, right? We're playing Altair's Altair flashback. This has to be his world and not Ezo's. Oh, fuck me. Wait, what happens if I do die? I, I did kill myself on purpose last time, guys, to see what would happen. This is very odd. This is very odd what's happening. Because I'm, like, dreaming. So I want to see what would happen if I killed myself last time. That's what I wanted to see. That's why I killed myself. Remember, guys, kill yourself just to see what happens. But I can't move. What's up? It's me from the future here to tell you that I think my game was bugged. I had to like restart it because I couldn't move or anything, which sucked. So I deleted that because like for I think 40 minutes I was stuck here. Uh, so yeah, cut it all out for you. You're welcome. I'm just dressed like Altaio because that's so Desmond's face. Okay, for some reason, this ain't... Oh my god. I don't think I am supposed to climb this. The lantern is gone. Bro, the lantern is gone. Wait! Is that the lantern? <laughs> Is that the lantern flying around the building? Oh, I broke this game, but I'm pushing sure that's the lantern. I'm gonna have to slow that down and edit. I am positive that's the lantern. Hit. <laughs> Me from the future again, and that is clearly the lantern. As you can clearly see, that is the lantern. I don't know how I broke this game, but I did. 
I break every game that I'm in. So yeah, that's the lantern, and um, that's pretty funny. All right, back to the actual video. Why are you supposed to? The lantern was in the way. I had to get rid of the lantern to climb. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew that the entire time. Apparently, I had to get rid of the lantern. <laughs> but the, that lantern is going on the entire building. <laughs> That's funny. It's actually funny. I had to get rid of the lantern to climb up. And now the lantern's broken. Time for a jump scale. Hello, subject 16, 17. It's the woman from Anchor. What's her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I'm enjoying this. You get it, Altair! You get it! Oh, this is how Altair dies? Bo. I can't. Why aren't I following Altair? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh, shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. Is Altair the father? I wanna bang you! So, Maria is the mother of... No, she's not the mother of... Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. That's very interesting. Sean! Uh, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. So is SEO's LTO son? Hey. Uh, hi. You tired? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just gone. So each team is a team of four? Sorry. Gotcha. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. For now. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us? Then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway... Enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Just look at my dick. You look at my dick? Wait, do you look at my dick? Really, I'm fine. I promise. Sorry, Desmond. I've got to file these reports. To who? We just lost eight more people. We'll talk more later. What city are we located in? Cause that swear looks like old Italy. Really? I'm fine. I promise. Okay, she's just repeating herself. Can't talk to Rebecca. Sean, my good lad boy, how's it been, buh? I can't talk to Sean. Screw you, game. Sean's my homie. I would never let him die. Bleeding effect I just got. Huh. 
This is so weird. Cave not effective in this area. Whoa, where the hell are we? De Vinzel. All right. Oh, it's a big area. Oh my god, it's big. That's what she said last night. Hey, yo. Messer Da Vinci. Yes. Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I am Elvise. Senor Donna has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? How big is this place? Restricted area. <laughs> Wish I got that. Okay then. Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, Thieves. the Alto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? Is this actually the oldest church, or are they just making up stuff? One of those strange graphics. You should go find it. It tells me that. Oi, hon. It tells me that this strange graphics are here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Shit, I'm an idiot. It literally told me that there were markings on these places. I never want to go see them. Your clock tower. Magnifico. Come, come. There's more to see. Oh, I'm coming. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is... There is... You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. No, no, stop, stop! Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Jerk. She just took my money, dude. How much money did I just lose? I gotta check the edit. I don't know how much I just left. Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbario. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. But Giannate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. 
I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the Council. Good luck with that, my friend. Oh, oh, what are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop! This place kind of sucks. for my money back. And now, I present to you your workshop, Sir Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect. As if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success, and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. I don't like this place. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Thank you. Di nulla. Thank you. I'm sensing some Emilio, the terror of the underworld. Aided by Ugly. his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping the streets safe from crime and his finances tax-free. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient. As does, you know, opposition. So he needs to be dealt with. Alright, what's this? Templar Leo. Yeah, no shit, Templar Leo. I need to get my boundaries. I really want to piss someone off just to see what I found this do. awesome place for you to explore and practice your skills. Santa Maria de Frari. I've marked it on your map. Uh, uh, it's probably up there. That's great and all. But I don't really care about that. That's gonna hurt. I want to go get a viewpoint of this place. You know, what? I hate climbing hill. You know, I hate, I hate this place. I hate it. I won't go piss off the law to see what they do. <laughs> mm, it, here we go. This is what I want. Oh God! Oh, stop! Oh, oh my God! See what happens. <laughs> they are the exact same way. Oh, he stopped. Lazy bones. Just wanted for how much? Sequa blur. Let's get a view of just how big this place is. They like setting this place up as a Chicago. You know, like a big, great, f nice, awesome city. But the government shit. Every There's like thieves and murderers and everywhere. You know, bad cops, you know. They're setting this place up as a Chicago. A dream, but really when you know what it's like, it ain't no dream, you know. Do I need to be up even higher? No. 
Uh, I can just go out right here. Never mind. Hey, Eagle. Holy shit. Yeah, they're definitely setting up this place as New York. But they're being big and shit. Wow. Damn. Chicago or New York, actually. Because New York is bigger than Chicago, and this definitely looks like they're setting it up as a New York. A big place. Oh my god, before but it was like all, um. All swamp and all water. This is an actual place. Damn. Damn, bro. How big is this place, bro? Actually, I'm gonna go to database. I'm gonna go to people. Emilio Babarigo. Titan no, of Venetian. No. Uberto Alberti. Oh. Trusted friend of the Auditore family. I didn't get According this before. To the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. Good. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self-taught. Now I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike. I didn't get any of these before. Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Mm. I don't think I got all this stuff before. Francesco Di Pazzi, brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own, and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars. One thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. Uh, did we get all this backstory before? Jacopo di Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally, so he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Barancelli, brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Barancelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Barancelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnoni, Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. Wait, I saw this Bagn one. That one I did see. Oh, come on. I don't get no... I don't get no awesome... Uh... Reading? Uh, let me check the place locations. Uh, 
Okay. Baba doo doo. Okay, so where the hell am I exactly going? Hmm. Gotcha. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna end off this episode here, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share, so, but you know, please, please. And peace out.